Hi, my name's Anna Christina. I'm a paediatric dietitian. And today we're going to have a look at what is a healthy lunchbox. Many parents that I see in clinic um, tell me that they are confused about what is healthy, what is nutritious, how to balance that with their child's food preference, whether they're a fussy eater, whether they're a food explorer, whether they're a bit nervous to try new foods. Preparing a lunchbox can often be quite a um, significant cause of anxiety for both parent and child. So today perhaps we'll go through some of the common stumbling blocks and try to understand how to maybe overcome these with some helpful hints. Some of the um, really important things to remember when we're working with children on expanding their food eating is balancing the things that we know about foods and what is healthy with, a, with some of the other concepts about what is fun to eat and what we might consider as a treat food. We form our eating habits from very early on and it's a really great thing to explore with your child to help them to understand that eating healthily is important but getting this across in a fun way. It's also a really useful time for parents to think about your own eating culture and your own eating habits. Often what we eat in front of our children does inform their own eating preferences. So a useful thing to think about if you would like your child to eat more fruits and vegetables. Make sure your child sees you eating fruits and vegetables too. Eat them alongside together and then as their exposure to a new food increases, you can pop that into the lunchbox as a new food for them to have during the school day. Getting a child to eat a new food can be really tricky. Helpful hints such as using familiar foods as a way of introducing a new food or a new taste. This might be mashing in foods or combining foods in a new way. Another helpful tip to think about the lunchbox in compartments is to base it on the eat well plate, which helps us to see that proportionally across the day there are important nutrients from each food group. The starchy carbohydrate, the protein, the fruits, the vegetables, and the foods that give us a source of calcium, such as dairy foods. Alongside the healthy eating plate, something else that's useful for parents is food labels. And food labels can help parents to make decisions about what is a healthy food from a range of foods that we can buy from the supermarket. Using the ingredients list can help us choose foods that are based on wholesome ingredients. We can use the traffic light system with the amber, the red and the green as a way of helping to proportionally eat foods across the day. Hydration is important for children's concentration and we do know that children's concentration will wane across the day if they're not keeping well hydrated um, during the school hours. School lunch boxes don't need to be stressful and can be fun. So if you think about some of the things we talked about in terms of food variety within each food group, across the food groups, within each day and across a week, balancing up the foods that we know are healthy foods to keep children growing and strong and concentrating throughout the school hours and mixed in with some of the sometimes foods which we know are important part of teaching children how to eat all foods within a healthy moderation. You can read more about helpful tips and hints in the blog.